Hello everybody, it is me, Nico, from Misery Productions, once again, here bringing you guys another late exhibition update. I know guys, I've been really laggy on these, but it's just been really hard to do these updates since I've implemented the new, well, I'm going to have a team member in every update concept, and uh, if you guys watch the Bricks by the Bay 2013 exhibition update 12, then you guys know that uh, I'm doing that video late. I'm doing this video around the same time. And uh, my limit on the Cascade updates now, instead of blowing these up to 45 minutes, I'm going to start making these a little bit around 25 minutes. So today, I have been here once again as uh, one of my other team members that is here. Say hello. Yep. So... As always, let's get down to business here on Yavin. Uh, since the last uh, update, well, what really should have been an update that was uploaded on time, managed to get a couple of team work days in, including Today. this guy. Me. Yeah. Uh, well, full team work day, well, partial team work days, Whatever. which was, yeah. With me working, it's basically full, but. <laughs> so stupid. Oh. Uh, yeah. Yeah. But uh, anyways, guys, um, you know, if you guys watch the CBR videos, then you guys know how I am with that. But yeah, so anyways, we got the team work days done. All the essential basic parts of the mock now have been acquired. So that's a plus. And all the pyramids are now fully tiled up, all of them. So now they're all here. And if you guys looked at the Bricks Cascade, or not the Bricks Cascade, but the Bricks by the Bay, Exhibition 12 picture on my Flickr, you saw that there was at least those back two pyramids that weren't there. But now they are. So, sorry about the partial interruption, guys. Had to clear out some space on the camera here. So, now let's get down to the other business. Um, as I said earlier, of all the basic parts for the mock now, all we need to do is make some smaller detail uh, extra detail parts such as more stalk pieces so possibly another Lego store trip might be in the future to get more of these stems to make this mock kind of look a little bit less uh, one-dimensional a little less flat so hopefully well, that attempt be two -dimensional, but go on. yeah two-dimensional but um, hopefully that will turn out great um, as of now, nearly, I'd say, one half of the mock, at least one half of the mock, is fully completed as far as the build's concerned. Um, obviously, we're doing this update later than on the Thursday that it was supposed to be done. And we managed to get all of these trees completed. Now all we really need to do is actually put the stock pieces down and actually you know do a little bit more smaller intricate details on that give a, the pyramids a little bit more character and do a lot of other smaller minor details to the muck before we say that it's a hundred percent done uh... the shield generator as you can see far in the back has already been put in of course that's the prototype version jeff's working on the official version hopefully we're gonna be able to place a, uh, place a brickling order for uh, for the parts for that soon minus you know the motor and all the other gears that make that thing motorized you guys watched the previous updates and a couple of my vlogs for those of you who follow the vlog channel you guys know that that thing actually works so now we get down to the organization tabs for the mock uh, really there are only two other smaller uh, bricklink orders that really need to be made uh, which I really cannot discuss with you guys right now because that's part of a top secret thing that we're going to be doing with this mock Woo. yeah top secret. so anyways um let's get down to sponsorship who's sponsoring this you guys know rc public customs still has not changed his mind about doing the kashik squad for this uh video here or for not for this video but for this mock here and we'll be supplying some of the cac weapons which will be used on the clones and the droids I still will be trying to put the new CAC printed helmets on the new on the older uh, Phase One clone bodies in order to make the Clone Wars Phase Two troopers. However, if that's not successful, I have pretty much two brick backup Bricklink orders on standby. Even though that'll cost me a lot more money, still I have uh, 
those BrickLink orders at the ready if necessary. So again, 83% uh, mock progression is what this mock was at. And next for the Battle of Umbara. Battle of Umbara will be in this setup. Currently we are trying to clean up this setup so that we can do the Clone Army video and then after we do the Clone Army video for the New Year's Eve special then we're going to be clearing it for the Umbara mock as well as some of the other convention mocks that are going to go on this space. Still using the Clone Wars episodes as references. I actually downloaded all of the episodes that showed Umbara onto my iPod through via iTunes. I feel sorry for you. <laughs> Shut up, just because you could get stuff for free. Um, so, uh, even though, uh, you know, Ross's mock, I don't want to seem like a total copycat, I'm just going to use his mock as a reference still. Um, still a two-part mock, nothing new there. Still the Carnage of Krell versus, and then the Battle of Umbara. Landscape, still nothing new, uh, new change there. Uh, still have the same decent amount of parts for it. A couple of them in the pick a brick cups over there for uh, the mock already. Uh, have uh, my custom Umbaran soldiers, which are over there. Jeff, if you can move the cup. Jeff? I mean, not Jeff. Ben, sorry. I don't yeah. know why I keep saying Jeff. I've said Jeff like a million times. There, like this. Yes. There they are. I'm not going to go into full detail on what those are yet. But yeah. So. Those are the Umbarans. I'll have an official picture up on Flickr as soon as the landscape, at least the landscape of the Umbaran mock is done. As you guys know, I still have the General Krell from the early buy off eBay. And uh, I have two major Bricklink orders for parts for the Umbarans. And I have custom weapons being made by Clone Trooper X39, which... Of course, that is also top secret and will not be released until the actual release photo of my Umbaran figures, Ooh. which will be shortly before the convention. So, uh, well, at least the Cascade convention. Um, so, that's what's going on there. Um, I'm still going to be ordering uh, ships for this, Lego ships, the ATRTs, as well as uh, the Mobile Heavy Cannon. The Mobile Heavy Cannon is actually smaller than I expected. So... I might actually get two of those. Uh, I will be implementing a new bunker concept into the mock, is what I decided also. This is uh, the Umbara mock, is going to be a X39, Clone Trooper X39, uh, CAC, and Matrix for You sponsored mock. So that is it for that. Now we get onto the Zombie Rescue mock. That mock progression, oh, by the way, Battle of Umbara, the mock progression was 25%. Uh, the zombie rescue mock is now at 25% also. It's still a prelude from the last zombie mock. Jeff was just messing with some of the figures that were going to be in that mock. Did you maybe say Jeff that time? And that, yeah, no I didn't. I don't know why I keep saying Jeff. I'm, I'm sorry, Ben. I'm really sorry. I'm so used to, like I said, three work days, one. Alright, whatever, let's go. Alright, sorry guys. Um, I keep confusing Ben with Jeff. I don't know why. My apologies, Ben. So, anyways... Um, still having that apocalypse layout. I'm still using the Flickr photos as references, and again, an RC custom sponsored mock because I have no third uh, party for making uh, customs for me or not or not uh, supplying me with customs so I can sponsor them at the convention. And I still have to place that citizen brick order as well as more uh, bricklink orders for the parts as well as uh, figures. So nothing new there. The Assassin's Creed Revelation mock. That's in the far corner. I actually have a couple of more uh, parts I need to order from that uh, off Bricklink, and I actually might go to the when I I might actually go buy some more of those parts at the Lego store if uh, there's actually a couple I find there. I have seen a couple of good uh, assassins from people on Flickr, mainly from Saber Scorpion. I've seen a couple of good Connor Kenways from him. I will have custom Revolution soldiers from, uh, well, mostly British, but I might have a couple of Americans in that mock as well. As you can see, the area of the mock is not too big, so I might not even include any American soldiers in that. I will have a couple Brick Arms and Brick Warriors weapons. This will be the first time I'll be using Brick Arms or Brick Warrior weapons in any mock. So that will be an interesting find. And again, still have Flickr support on that mock. Now as for the Hunger Games mock, as you guys know, all of this right here is taking up most of the green base plates 
and the rest has gone to displaying some of my figures so I'm gonna have to go out and buy a couple of more green base plates for that but the landscape uh, for that mock uh, has been planned out already the mock progression is 5% uh, the full synopsis will be based off the very first book uh, I already have a cornucopia reference photo taken off Flickr favorited and of course I'm probably gonna have to go to the Lego store again to buy more of the grass pieces in the stock box right there so I'm gonna have to go to the Lego store and probably have to get another box of that so by the end or by the time the convention actually rolls around I'll probably have like four boxes worth of stock pieces just to go around for that mock and then the Hunger Games mock and then a couple of other mocks uh, Again, we'll most likely be using Brick Warriors for their, uh, their weapons. Again, Minifix for You will be sponsoring this mock since David is releasing a new Katniss figure. And, of course, I will have possible Flickr supporters of this. I know a lot of people have been wanting the Hunger Games category to come out. And a lot of the Bricklink order tabs will try to be split amongst the team. Mostly me and Jeff and hopefully Ben could front up some money soon. But more than likely not. Um... Now we move on to the Exoforce mock. Nothing new there at all, period. Synopsis is still the same. Uh, you know, mock progressions 4%. Still waiting on Jeff to pay off those figures and ships that he had ordered originally for that mock. And really, there's nothing new there. We might actually have to drop it, though. So. We might have to drop it just because, you know, uh, com the convention's rolling up fast and we might only be able to do uh, the Assassin's Creed and Hunger Games mock. So that mock will possibly be dropped along with the TMNT mock, which has a little bit of less progression. The Exoforce mock is at 4% still. TMNT mock is worse at 2%. I'm not even begun to make Bricklink orders for that, and I'm not about to spend a bunch of money getting the sets just for the figures. So nothing new there, but the mock concept is still uh, the same. I might do the city texture, but more than likely I might still do, do the jungle texture based off of the older third movie that was released back in the 90s. And uh, still working out the new BL order tabs. I don't have those fully planned out yet. And uh, really, um, the Bricklink orders that I make for that will hopefully, again, be split amongst the rest of the team. Now we get onto something that is pretty much almost done. That's the figure display case here. Most of the clones that are supposed to be in this mock, or in, not in this mock, but in this case, are on this stand are now in the clone army setup and they will be back in here soon hopefully a bunch of newer minifix for you customs will be arriving as well as a bunch of new republic customs will be arriving to complete all the rows and i will be receiving a, a bunch of business cards from them so i can get the ball rolling and i will be creating again custom Flickr and youtube labels for that stand as well as uh, labels for the minifix for you store and republic customs store so that is it for that and now on to the convention team again we have Jeff here who's an official again, member really? I mean not Jeff Ben I don't know why okay I don't know why I'm sorry I am truly sorry slap <laughs> me on the side of my head again if I mistake you for Jeff again can I do it right now yeah go ahead anyway I meant the back of the head you uh, idiot uh. Uh, anyways um, we got Ben here again you have me Face is probably a little bit red, but yeah, that's me and Jeff could not be here once again. We're still waiting on new members. Uh, I didn't have any new members planned at that week either, but for the most part, the basic team is already planned at 100%. Same thing as the Bricks by the Bay update. Um, as of right now, uh, the convention schedule is still looking tight. Of course, I have to update that to today's standards, but as to what it was supposed to be at when this update was supposed to be uploaded I was working both that Thursday and Friday trying to get stuff planned out and actually start recruiting extra team members lucky me so that is it for that thank you guys again for watching short brief recap on the progressions of each mock Yavin 4 from last week 83% Battle of Umbara pretty much now at 25% Basically, mostly planning. Same thing with the zombie <coughs> city prelude rescue mock, 25%. The Assassin's three, uh, the Assassin's Creed three mock. Yeah, guys, I'm a little bit sick, so that's why. Um, still at three percent. 
Uh, Hunger Games Mock, now at 5%, will be going up hopefully by the end of this week if I can get a bunch of stuff done for that. Uh, Exo Force Mock still at 4%, Mock Progression and TMNT still at 2 And then the minifigure stand still at 85 And then the convention team, the basic team between me, Ben, and Jeff. You know, that's already settled. Still looking for two final members and the team will totally be complete and be ready for Cascade. So, thank you guys again for watching. Hopefully this update wasn't too long for you guys. For those of you that stuck around, I really appreciate it. And hopefully the next Bricks by the Bay update, which is update number 13, will be uploaded on time. So I'll see you guys next time. Please like, comment, and sub. Bye, guys.